the Democratic Party are strong believers in the idea all men are created equal. Unless, of course, those men have any physical, emotional, or behavioral differences. In which case, we need to list out those differences the most superficial first, focus all our attention on those differences, and then construct our law first and foremost based on those superficial differences. Except in the case of gender differences, because because there are, no, there are no gender differences, except when there are. So we need to make sure the law does not take into account gender into account, except when it does, which makes perfect sense, except that it doesn't. Anyways, how, how is it that Hollywood, uh, Hollywood is messing up the new Blade Vampire Hunter movie? You know, they had to, basically they had to cancel it or, or delay it, looks like, indefinitely. This is like the Blade Vampire Hunter movie. It's crazy. I mean, honestly, you would think Blade movie would be a money-making, like, in, like it'd, be a, it'd be a money-making open court, nobody in your path, bank-making slam dunk, you know? I mean, it, it had, it's got like a built-in fan base. Identity boxes have been checked. That means there's no DEI roadblocks that are going to get in your way of making the film. It's got the gritty, dark, modern, anti-hero story. A story that script writers generally like. Because they really like playing with the question of moral ambiguity kind of situation. They're throwing it in everything as far as I can tell. I mean, I mean how much are you willing to bet? That the story behind the the inability to make a Blade movie goes something like this. You know, they're in the writer room with 500 writers. 500 writers! Because due to union minimum writer number requirements, that's how many they needed in the room. And then, and then as they review the script, a script most likely written for the most part by chat GTP rather than the 500 committee of writers... Some jerk writer was like, yeah, well, that's great. You know, the boxes are checked. It's got a built-in fan base, yada, yada, money-making, gold mine. But Blade, Blade's not gay. I mean, can't, can't we make Blade gay too? And then, and then the whole thing turned into another woke trash fire due to the fact that nobody could tell the crazy guy, no, because he happened to have more woke points than 90% of the room of writers that are only there because they had to be because the union thing said they needed 500 writers in the room to agree on every decision to write a script, which is crazy. I mean, honestly, like, if you, if you can't even do a Blade movie because of woke DEI union made roadblocks, it's, it's over. It's over. Just outsource the projects to like Arizona or something, Hollywood, because because Hollywood is dead. All right, it's de the, the the crazy levels are unprecedented for even for Hollywood. It's unprecedented. It's off the Richter scale, I tell you. You know the the Richter scale has been unmoored by the craziness shockwaves knocked off the table and is now lying broken on its side while still drawing little squiggly lines on the floor as if to as if to say sos it's given an sos signal to the world by the sheer crazy frantic squiggles that, that are meaningless just on the floor from from the richter scale squiggly lines about as meaningless as like a as like economic data from china Squiggly lines as meaningless as the current administration explanation of inflation with the use of like rainbow colored Venn diagrammed shaped like a choo-choo train for no dang data driven reason. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's the same crazy crap every time. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm living in crazy town. Honestly, we, we, we. We need to go back to when script writing was done by one dude or dudette with passion and a vision. Why? Because script writing done by committee? Script writing done by committee sucks. Period. Alright, that's all I got. That was, that was my half rant.